Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome to Flotsam, which is a floaty, boaty, crafty type of survival game where we find ourselves out on the big blue sea and we have to make use of all the resources that are floating around in order to build ourselves a base and survive. And if that sounds a little bit familiar, then yes, you are absolutely correct because that sounds a bit like Buoyancy, which is a game that we are playing on the channel right now. And yes, this is is indeed a similar concept to buoyancy however I would say this is done in an entirely different way and I think you can even tell that from this menu screen buoyancy is a little bit sort of more gritty a little bit more realistic I would say it's quite post-apocalyptic and it's relatively bleak because you know people die a lot in that and there's a murderer and all that kind of stuff and you can eat people you can cannibalize corpses and what have you flotsam is a lot more jolly and bright and light-hearted and colorful and cartoony and it's gorgeous to look at. Oh, it's, it's a beautiful thing. I've only played it for maybe five minutes just to get used to how the game works. And it's really, really pretty. Oh, it's very pretty indeed. So I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this for an absolute age, it seems. But finally, this has rolled round. We are going to be giving it a go. The game itself is going into early access on the 26th of September. And as always, if you're interested, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below if you want to go and wishlist it and follow it and all that kind of stuff but of course we are playing it a little bit earlier than that early access launch date and that is courtesy of a key from the developers which is very kind of them so thank you very much developer folks that's very lovely of you of course that does mean that this is a sort of early preview release build which means we might see some bugs and glitches and all that kind of stuff that we know and love with kind of early access builds and that is absolutely fine so I think Without any further ado, let's just set sail and play some Flotsam. Well, that's it then. Garbage floods wiped away our village. Perhaps we should stop sticking around on these useless rocks and go explore. Who needs land? These endless blue waves, that's all we need. The flooded world is our oyster. Let's polish this plastic into beautiful pearls. If only we weren't out of fuel, dot, dot, dot. A slightly ominous dot, dot, dot there, I feel. But there we go. So we presumably had ourselves a little village on an island. Garbage floods have washed it away. So our people have given up and thought, Do you know what? I'm just going to go out onto the sea and explore because I don't want to get washed away by garbage floods again, which sound horribly unpleasant. So here we go. We get to name our town. And they have got some good names. They've got some very good names that kind of, a lot of them anyway, reflect the fact that we're going to be building a town or or a city or whatever out of junk so we've got leftover bay um i don't know what that's supposed to be but okay a uh, debris and all that kind of stuff so you know a few of them sea breeze heap and all that kind of stuff um however i have a very good idea for the name of our city here in flotsam we're going to call it Boaty Land because in Buoyancy, which is our other floaty boaty kind of survival type game, the cities in that were called Floaty Land and New Floaty Land. So I think these ones should be called Boaty Land because this is a game that is both floaty and boaty. So whereas Buoyancy cities can be called Floaty Land, the ones in Flotsam can be called Boaty Land. And I think that's a good name for a city. It sounds like a fun place to go, doesn't it? Where do you live? I live on Boaty Land. Oh, that sounds nice. So here we go. Let us start our adventures on Boaty Land. And um, first things first, space is pause. I do like a space pause. That's very, very good. And this is it. This is Boaty Land. That's all there is to it. There is not much else. Um, so this is the Town Heart, which is a beautiful name for the kind of town centre. I do like that. Um, so that's all we've got. We've just got this. It's got, if we zoom in, a great big kind of jug of water on the back, which I do like. I <laughs> think that's very good. So that holds our water reserves and it's got a little sort of tap on it. There's a crane arm. There's a kind of, uh, sort of wind speed measuring thing there. And there's a sort of fire thing just there. And that's all we've got. But as you can see, we are surrounded. We're surrounded by terrible oceanic debris. So it's got plastic and there's wood and there's more wood over there. Also, there is an island just here. I do notice. Um, I didn't pick up on an island when I did my initial sort of quick delve into this just to get used to the controls and stuff. I didn't actually come across across an island. I don't really remember seeing if there was one. But um, yeah, this is certainly an island. I imagine our people lived on here. I guess this is where we lived. But um, yeah, it has indeed been fairly devastated. All the homes and trees are all sort of broken and fallen over and it's all ruined. Uh, there is a sailboat on the rocks, however. 
I wonder if we're supposed to go and do something with this. Okay, right, we'll come back to that later, because at the minute we need to focus on Boaty Land itself. So, I mean, it's very pretty. It's so pretty to look at. I love the visuals on it. It's very, very lovely. I think, I think it's cell shading. I think that's what that sort of art style is called. Whatever it is, it's really lovely. So we need to get some resources collected, because at the minute we can't build anything. So we've got ourselves the obvious build thing down here. But we can't build anything. It's all greyed out because we have, if we look up here, entirely no resources. We have no wet wood. We have no dry wood. We have no plastic waste. And we have no metal scrap. Now that is interesting, isn't it? That's quite a good point. We have wet wood and we have dry wood. Because of course, if you pick up wood that's been in the sea, it's going to be wet. And you don't want to be building stuff out of wet wood. So I guess somewhere in here there's going to be some sort of drying rack for wood. But okay, fine, that's fine. Um, so yeah, we need to go and gather some resources because we can't build anything. We've got entirely nothing. <laughs> We've just decided to just go, do you know what? Uh, we'll, we'll just we'll just set off with absolutely no resources at all. Uh, we have uh, 24 water reserves and 33 food reserves. So we need to make sure that we are keeping on top of those, but we need to go and gather some stuff first. Also, I think the people, the little people, I can't do any more than that. They do have names yeah that's sammy flot and they have their own sort of little requirements he's got some health he's got hunger he's got thirst he's got rest he's even got his little things here some sort of like traits he moves faster because he's like a torpedo and um ah because he's coming to the new world he's kind of feeling all uplifted and excited about things at the moment he is twiddling his thumbs okay and what is what's that what's that diet oh my goodness me Different people will have different diets. All oh, right, so he's not fussy. Sammy Flot will eat literally anything. He'll eat canned food. He'll eat cooked fish. He'll eat dried fish. Whatever. He is not bothered. Um, right, okay. So Coral Clam Chowder de Agua is very similar. Um, she needs less sleep. We've got some good starting people. I don't know if they're you know, the default starting people or not. Um, and then Baby Blue. <laughs> Sammy Baby Blue Paddle um, also needs less sleep. Oh, that's quite good. So those two are going to be doing more work. And this guy, while he needs a normal amount of sleep, is going to be moving around a lot quicker. Okay, right. Brilliant. So they've got their own little personalities and stuff. That is marvellous. So what we need to do is we need to go out and gather some stuff. Um, at the moment, we have no boat. We've got nothing. So we have to send people out over here to swim. They've got to swim out and grab the stuff and bring it back. So we put out a little salvage boy over here. So let's put one over there. So if we put that there, that will grab us. I want to maximise what we can get out of it, really. So that will grab us four wet wood, which is understandable because it's in the sea, and 70 plastic. So we could drop that out there, and then we could say how many people we want to go to it. So we could say we've got, I think we only got three people. Yeah, they're the only three people we've got. So we'll send one person over to that way to grab whatever you like really. if you grab some wet wood that's fine and mostly you're going to be grabbing this plastic waste i imagine we can turn that on and off so we can say no don't grab the wet wood we don't want to do that so we'll have them there going to grab the plastic and the wood over here we'll send another person over this way um sort of four i'll well, do 47 that is just wood so you can go and do that um i'm going to imagine that wood is going to be more important right now. Now, of course, I've played this for about five minutes, so I don't actually know if that holds true, but whatever the case, let's see if that is actually the case. Right, get these people in. I love the way they just sort of, I love the way they just sort of swim out. <laughs> it's very lovely. So they're going over here and they're grabbing bits and bobs. Now, what I think they have, I think they have like a, a kind of bucket type thing they take with them. So they have a bucket that they, they take on their back. They load it up with all the different bits of junk. And then they come here and they just chuck the stuff in. Yeah, look, they're just sort of chucking the stuff into the storage area. Now, do we have a storage capacity? Um, is that storage capacity? Yeah, so 58 out of 100. So we don't have that much in the way of storage. We don't have a lot of storage. Now, one of the things we can build almost immediately is a walkway. So um, the, uh, oh, the people are called drifters, are they? Allows your drifters to walk around and attach buildings. Okay, right. So we might need to build some walkways, possibly going out that way and that way. That might be helpful. But also there is a small storage yard, which I think we might have to build. Um, a small house would also be useful. That would be quite handy as well. A home for your drifters where they can rest. Um, you need some plastic uh, nonsense and some wood. Ah, it needs the dried wood. 
Okay, so we're going to have to look through here as well to figure out a place where we can put dry wood. Um, however, first things first, I think we need a storage area because that that's filling up quite quickly. Um, so let's build a walkway. Now, how does this work? Okay, right, here we go, learning curve. Um, let's put that there. Uh, oh, okay, it stretches. It stretches out this way, does it? So we can build it 16. Uh, so it's going to cost 16 resources if we put it there. Well, let's not do that right now. Let's build it to eight. So yay, okay. Right, I imagine we're going to need someone to build that. So if we reduce the amount of people that are gathering wood by one, once you, I imagine, have chucked, uh, Baby Blue, once he's chucked all the wood into there, he's then going to get on with some building. Okay, so he's loading the resources into here. And then I imagine, nope, he's he's just swam off somewhere else. I don't really know what's going on here. Ah, right, okay, good. Right, you're doing hitting of things with a hammer. That, that signifies to me building is happening. I'm quite happy with this. So he's going to build this walkway to connect things up over there. Okay, this is good. Right, we'll speed time on a bit. One, two, three are the speed keys as well. I like this. I, I like consistency in these sorts of games. Right, marvellous. We've got ourselves a little platform. And it's kind of built in a different way. So you've got... A, is that a door? That looks like a door. So we've got a door, a plank, uh, some other doors possibly, and then some more planks, and then just a collection of things. Right, and now let's build ourselves a small storage yard. Um... I mean, it kind of makes sense to build it. Do we even want to build that attached to the main thing? Do you know what? Let's build that there, look. We'll attach the storage yard to the main kind of, the, what is it called again? The town heart. The beautifully named town heart. Um, and then, right, how can we dry it? We're getting lots of wood. How can we dry it? Uh, ah, ha, ha, what is this? A drying rack. Okay, right. Let's put the drying rack just here. So let's have this area as a little sort of hub of of resource sort of uh, processing. So we can store it, we can dry the stuff over here. Um, I wouldn't mind another storage area. Let's see how much they can hold. Let's have a little look at how much they can hold. Ah, right, they're a bit thirsty. Yeah, I'm hoping that our resources for food and water will last a little while, although we are down to 21 water reserves. That's come, that, That's gonna come down, isn't it? Hang on, water. What do we need for that? We need uh, dried wood. Okay, right. so this thing is going to be very important. This drying rack thing is going to be very important indeed. We're going to need this <laughs> to be to be doing an awful lot of stuff. Um, so we've not got any, um, any fish to put on it. So I guess the default thing is wood. Right, storage area. Small storage yard. 5 out of 20. That is very disappointing. That is, that's quite small. I was hoping for a slightly bigger storage yard. Um, okay, right. What we'll do is we've got, oh, ah, they've got all of the wood from that little sort of uh, swimming boy thing. So um, now they're going to come back, I guess. So we need more plastic. That's what we need. We need more plastic. Uh, hang on. Let's just actually up the amount of people that are working on this one to two. There we go. Right. Somebody needs to take some, some wood to here. Um, no recipes. Ah, dry wood. Yes. Do that. Put wet wood on the dryer, turn it into dry wood. That would be marvellous. Oh, <laughs> look at that. The individual bits of wood are hanging up. Oh, that's very good. Oh, look at that. They've put, that's got plastic in it. You can actually see the materials that are in there. It builds up. Oh, that's very, very good as well. I did notice that fills up, but you can't quite see it so well. Okay. Okay, that's good. So the resources are coming in. This is very, very lovely. There's a thing here about farms. I imagine we're going to find out about farms at some point. Right, what other things can we build? So let's start here. So we've got storage. I am tempted to build another storage area. I'm going to put one just there. We're just going to drop one in. That that sounds like a good thing to have. Another storage area has got to be quite good. Um, so storage, platform type thing. Uh, small house. Yep, yeah, we're going to need one of those. So once this wood is done, I think maybe we need to get another drying rack as well. Um, drying rack and a woodworking shed. Drifters craft resources with wood, like rope and firewood. That sounds useful. Um, water is the construction distiller. Okay. Boats. Oh my goodness me. A mooring point, a salvaging boat, and a fishing boat. Ah, so we want to get ourselves a mooring point. That, however, looks like it needs dried wood which is fine but also some rope so we're going to need to build the woodworking shed first okay that's fine i can cope with that and then navigation ah that is how we move allows movement of the town so that requires some scrap metal 
some rope and some sails. Okay, how do we make sails and metal? Uh, they craft resources with wood. I don't know how we get sails. Ah, ha, ha, hang on, hang on, hang on. That thing. This place up here. Maybe we go here. Yes, I imagine we must dismantle this then. So maybe we don't free the boat. Oh, yeah, actually, actually. <laughs> I don't think freeing this boat would work because this boat seems to have quite a... It's got some holes in it. it it's got a big hole. Uh, it doesn't... It, this is just a big hole at the bottom of the ship. So that's not going to work. But maybe we will come over here. We take the sail off and we strip it of wood and metal and what have you. Maybe that's what we'll do. And that's how we get to move around. Okay, right. But there is still a little bit to do right now. There is still some more work to do. We need to get this wood done um, and because we need the wood, uh, the, the sorry, the water generator thing. That could be quite useful. And that might be quite a good thing to have. Um, also, let's get ourselves uh, another walkway, possibly going out that way. And I think maybe going up to 16, just to get another area where we might be able to go and build some more buildings and things. I like the way it'll spiral out from the middle. It's a little bit sort of Frostpunk-esque in a way. You've got your centre and everything else is going to spiral out from it. I have put that small storage yard there. Is that a stupid place for it? Do you know what? It's fine. It's probably nearly full. Oh no, not quite full. Okay, okay. It's all good. Oh, that one's looking very full as well. Okay, however... Ah! We've got... Dry Aha! We have three dried wood. Okay, this is very, very good news. Now, I want another one of those, please. Um... Okay, we just took that just there. Ideally, I'd put it there, but I can't because that storage thing is there. But never mind. Uh, right, so they've done that. They've built one bit of the walkway. You're working on the next bit of the walkway. Uh, okay, so now, yeah, we're going to need one of these at some point. We're going to need a woodworking shed uh, because to make that thing, we're going to... Oh, no, uh, I think we get that first. I think we get our distiller in place first. So we're going to need two more bits of the dried wood. How long is it going to take? Oh, they've only just put those bits on. They've only just put those bits on there. Okay, right. Well, let's move time on nice and quick. And let's just get people doing stuff. You can build that. Um, hang on. No one's gathering any resource. Ah, have we finished? Yeah, may maybe we've finished doing that. Right. We need more plastic waste, which looks like it might be over there somewhere. Ten. That'll do. Ten plastic waste, so you can go and do that. At some point soon, I'll build you boats. I promise. <laughs> we'll have some lovely boats. I mean, to be fair, they can swim quite a long way from the center, from the heart. They can go quite some distance. So I mean, we could tell them to go over there as well. Put another one to go over there. <laughs> I like that. He just ran along the thing and then dramatically just sort of dived in. But yeah, so you can go and grab all that kind of stuff. Ah, what's that? I hadn't noticed this. Was I supposed to have noticed this? Sailboat on the rock. Some drifters tried making a town on that island. Bad idea, with all the garbage floods. A sailboat has been wrecked on the cliffs, though. Perhaps we can make use of its mast. Oh, right, there we go. So it's like a little kind of quest item. So we can salvage it, and we get the sail, and we get rope, and we get metal, which is what we need to build a sail so we can move about. Okay, that's fine. Um, somebody needs to put some dry wood onto there, please. That would be marvellous. Okay, how much have we got? We've got nine. Okay, right. Priority number one. Build one of these things. Build a thing. Um, I think just there will do. Maybe. I mean, I don't know, really. <laughs> that might be terrible. If we want to, we can get another platform coming out this way. And of course, we can link the platforms up. They don't have to just be sticking out and just be all independent. We can link them up. But there we go. Right, so other platform underway. You there. Swim, Sammy. Sammy Flot, bring back more things. So that's fine. So they're working on that. Have the walkways got like a little, it's got a little sort of spinny thing. Oh, no, no, that's right. No, that, that's shadows. <laughs> that's how sunlight and shadows work. I thought that might have had like some sort of little kind of spinny motor underneath it to keep it afloat. But no, it's the shadow of this sort of, uh, what is that? Like a sort of weather, like a wind speed sensor type thing, I think. So we've got two of those done. Uh, are we, is this? Built? No, I don't think it's built yet. Right, hang on. Can we get this constructed, please? It'd be really useful. There we go. Right. Go and build this. I imagine the durability going up tells us how complete this is. <gasps> it's got a big bowl on it. Oh, it's got a great... <laughs> it's got a massive plastic bottle on it. That's brilliant. Okay, and some pipes. 
So that should keep us going for water for a little while. Oh, it's got a thing on it. Why has it got a thing on it? Um, fresh water quenches the thirst of drifters. That is coming down a little bit alarmingly. Um, fuel. Firewood. Ah, we need some firewood. Okay, right. So the next thing we need to build then is this. We need the woodworking shed to be in place. So the drifters are going to craft resources with wood like rope and firewood. That is very useful. Do you know what? Let's put that right opposite the distillery type thing. Um, so yeah, the water distillery, not not like the, yeah, the whiskey distillery or whatever. Although maybe we get them later on. So while they're doing that, what else is there to look at down here? So what's that do? That shows all the markers that we've got. Uh, ah, right. Okay. So that's just showing where we've got sort of markers where people are going to gather resources. Okay. That is um, get a swimming one. Get a swimming marker in so people go and swim to get the resources. I guess that's a boaty one, but we can't do that. And then a fishing one, but we can't do that. That's build. What's that? Research. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, this is lovely. Right. So there are research options. So we can research. Ah, bigger storage areas. Um, a proper house. Ah, yeah, we could do with possibly getting some houses constructed as well, couldn't we? Things for water. So water storage. Food stuff. So fishing huts. And use a net and bait to catch fish deep below the town. Oh, that's quite good. So you don't have to send boats out. You can just sort of uh, just sort of poodle about the place and catch fish as you move. Oh, I quite like that idea. Oh, that's very exciting. Oh, hang on. And what was the other things? A map. Um, oh, here we are. Oh, th that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, it looks so lovely. Right, there's Boaty Land over here. We don't quite look like that yet. We've not got the sail, but okay. And then we go over to, where's that? The Lonely Island. Okay, so there's a person that we need to rescue <laughs> from a lonely island. So we get some villagers and an abandoned town. So there's a little kind of route through. There's a kind of story that you can follow. Oh, this is marvellous. So you go to the Lonely Island. Then there is the Leaking Water Tower. So it features fresh water, oil and an abandoned town. And then it looks like we branch. So it looks like as well you can't go back onto old sort of branches that you miss you can't go down to this lonely island here over to shack town and then back to the seagull nest it looks like that is something you cannot do these arrows are one way arrows only oh okay oh that's very exciting however that does require fuel and we don't have any of that yet but it says here we get oil so okay right that's intriguing i hadn't realized i just thought it was sort of an open world kind of, you know, survivally floaty boaty sandbox thing. But no, there's like a little sort of mission and a story. And I do love the fact that, <laughs> that you can actually make out identifiable objects. That's like a little sort of sort of a cupboardy thing. And that's bits of tree and there's a barrel. Ooh. Oh hello. You're big and terrifying. Do I need to worry about you? Are you gonna eat our people? Please do not eat our people. I've only got three of them. <laughs> if you eat one, that's quite a detriment. That's not a good thing. So that is a big whale-type monstery thing. Okay, right, okay. Let's go back to here because because we're running out of water. So, uh, right, pause the game for a second. Let's have a look at the woodworking shed. Um, yeah, let's... Do you know what? Let's just clear all those things. I think the help file is somewhere around. It's fine. So what do we want to make? Do you want to make some rope or some firewood? I think firewood is a good thing to have. Let's make some firewood. Um, also, a little storage yard just here, just for firewood, would not go amiss. I wonder if we can tell them what can go into the storage areas. We'll put one there anyway. I think that's probably a, a sensible thing to have. So, but oh, oh, we could build a small house. We could build them a little house. Uh, that will come later. Let's build them a storage thing first. And then I want to build them a walkway as well. I'd like their houses to be slightly separate from the rest of it. So maybe have a walkway down here and have a couple of houses on each side. Um, okay, but that's fine. Right, so right now, what do I want to do here? Cue, ah, cue this up. Right, I see. Let's make five firewood. Is, is that a lot? I don't know. But there we go. We'll make five firewood and that needs to be queued up as well. Ah, ha, ha, right. So let's say let's do five fresh water. They won't be able to do that right now. But when the firewood is ready, they will be able to. OK, right. So unpause the game. They're getting on with this stuff. Right. They bring it over here to make the new storage area. Um, have we got anybody out and about? We've got you over there. Not really grabbing very much stuff. Uh, we could do with some more plastic. Uh, can we go and get some more plastic, please? 
We need lots of it. That would be great. 17 just there. Absolutely. Somebody go and grab all the plastic because now that's become important all of a sudden. Right, that thing is saying, I've got nothing to burn. The small storage yard is in. So can we just say, ah, yeah, look, if you untick things, you can just say, store dry wood in the, ah, no, store firewood. Store firewood in that small storage yard. That is all we want to store in there. Ah, okay, and rope, because they're going to make some rope as well, possibly. So here we go. Do you know what? As well, let's queue up a couple of bits of rope, just because we can. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, this is very good. Oh, I like this. Um, also, yeah, keep putting wood on there, please. We want lots of wood. Maybe, maybe we get another one of those drying racks. You only get three bits of wood on them. So they're relatively slow. And I wonder if there's some research stuff that you can use to maybe improve that as well. I don't know. Oh, this is, this is brilliant. I'm liking this an awful lot. Uh, right, okay. We need more stuff. We just need more resources. So you're out swimming, grabbing stuff, which, you know, is, I don't envy you having to do that. Swimming around with a big kind of barrel on your back, loading stuff into it, which includes massive logs. <laughs> well done you. That's very resourceful. Uh, but yeah, I don't envy you. I do not envy you at all. Right, ah, now, this is interesting. The uh, distiller has had some fuel put in it. This is very good indeed. So there's fuel in the distiller, and now they're able to work on water. So we've, gone, we've got 12 water right now. Now, I assume that they just put the water into this sort of jug thing at the back of the town hut. I'm going to guess where that goes, but there we go. We'll see in a second. Let's move time on. Oh, it's on, it's on super quick speed. Let's see. So it gets to the top. Okay, fine. There is a water to be collected. So the water is in there. It's in a little, it's in a little jug just there. <laughs> so now what do they do with it? What do they do with it? So why is that not? That's gone through its queue already. Oh my goodness me. And that is all the firewood. Aha. Oh, that's brilliant as well. That is very, very good news. Okay, so now what do they do with the water? So do they just take the water out? Ah, they're taking the water out. Um... Did it just go straight into the thing in there? I'm not entirely sure. Did they put it into here? They've made the rope and the firewood, which has gone into there. Um, and that person is stealing the stuff from there. Why are you stealing the stuff? Oh, you're loading up with more firewood. Ah, I see. Right, you've chucked a load more firewood into there. Okay. Right, I see. This is all good. Um, right, make some more firewood. So make... Three lots of firewood. Maybe make one more rope and yeah, another firewood. Why not? Let's just chuck more stuff in. There's loads of stuff over there. We could do with uh, do with going over there to that plastic waste. Um, okay, right. So now uh, things I want to get done. I want another drying rack for the wood because that's relatively slow. And I want to get them a house. I think a house might also be quite an important thing. So let's um let's work on that, shall we? So let's expand that out the tiniest bit. So to about there. Um, and then we're out of the plastic scrap already. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, my God. We need 10. We need 10 of the plastic scrap. Can we Can we just grab all of the plastic? Yeah, don't bother with the wood. We've got plenty of the wood. Just go and grab the scrap, please. Okay, they have gathered sufficient materials so we can make them a small house, which sounds like a very good thing to have. Um, I'm going to kind of put it on the end of this thing here. So let's just drop in a small house. Also... Our water is going okay. It takes quite a lot of the um, the old firewood to get uh, a bit of water out of there. I wonder if there's a way to sort of refine this. I don't know. So if we just queue up as much... Joe, you know what? Just keep making water forever. Just make water. That is your job, to make water. And um, you, just make some firewood. Let's just get... We've got loads of dry wood now. So let's just get another six lots done. Because, um, yeah, food, we're okay still. It's fine. Food reserves are looking okay. But, um, but, yeah, water, I don't want to run out. I think that's going to be <laughs> that's gonna be more detrimental, isn't it? That's going to be a bad thing. Um, okay, right. How do we get over to there, then? So a sailboat uh, has been wrecked on the cliffs. Perhaps we can make use of its mast. So I'm thinking we need to do this. We need to build ourselves a mooring point, which we can build right now. A harbour where small boats are both crafted and moored. And then we need to get ourselves a salvaging boat. And then that means we'll be able to get over to that island and have a look at what's going on. I think that's what we do. Um, let's just pop the mooring point um, 
here. Let's put it along this side for now. Let's just put it here. I mean, again, I'm I'm sort of, yeah, I'm winging it a little bit. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. This might be a terrible place for a mooring point, but that's what we've gone for. I think they should be able to get that done fairly quickly. They'll be able to get that done okay. Ah, there's somebody in there. What are you doing in there? Oh, you're just, you are making, oh, you're, you are making the firewood. You're just chopping it aggressively. <laughs> just in there. Just sort of hacking away at it. Um, hang on. Can we rotate the camera around? Um, yeah, I'd love to have to zoom in the tiniest bit more just to get a little bit more detail on what our little characters are doing. But yeah, he is indeed just sort of uh, just hacking at bits of wood there to turn into firewood, which is fine. That's okay. Aha. Right. The mooring point has been completed. So now we want to build a salvaging boat, which means we need four more plastic. So we need four more plastic waste. Now, have we... Yeah, we've gone through everything. I don't think we've got any more of those things available. Right, okay. We need to find a place where there is some plastic. Um, just there, look. It's quite near to us. Don't bother... Do you know what? Actually, get the wood as well. It's fine. We've now got a good supply of dry wood. So let's move time on nice and fast until they've grabbed all this stuff. And then we need ourselves 12, didn't we? It was 12 uh, plastic. To, ah, beautiful. Build a salvaging boat. Go and build a salvaging boat. Oh, and it's got a little parking bay. <laughs> sort of parking area. Brilliant. Yes, put it there, please. Oh, okay, yeah, this maybe does make sense. This maybe does make sense because this is our sort of resources area. So they're going to go and scavenge resources and bring it back in. So my sort of thought is, this is where resources are collected. This is where resources are kind of processed or whatever. Um, yeah, we, we could we could do with more water. That would be nice. Oh, is that how... The firewood does not last very long, does it? Firewood does not last long at all. Right, just, just make loads more. Cut more of that dry wood up, please. Um, and yeah, I want to see how our little salvaging boat's doing as well. Because that is our next big thing, I guess. To go over to there, get us a sail and move on to the next bit of the game. Ah, right, I think it's done. I think it's done. Okay, so now we've got a thing here. Ah, we can. We can go and salvage this. So do I just, do I press this? Salvage. Ah, right, okay, so it's a special command. So somebody is going to hop onto here, I assume. Uh, and that's telling me that we've ran out of wood. We've ran out of, um, of, of wet wood, so we can't hang anything on the dryer. Oh, this is brilliant. He's, he, look at this. He's kind of, he's rowing over with his makeshift oar. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, so he's going around this side. Be careful, my good sir. Don't crash. Don't make our salvaging boat a piece of salvage for somebody else later on. Right, he's kind of docked sort of more or less over here. And he's hopping around on the island. He's going, careful. He's going across the treacherous tree bridge. And he's going over to the boat. So here we go. He's just going <laughs> to... That was easy. He didn't even he didn't go up to the sail. He just kind of came to him. Uh, okay, right. So he's chucked it all in a barrel, an implausibly small barrel, but that's fine. You know, I know Time Lord technology. It's bigger on the inside than on the outside. These barrels. Um, and then he's going to get back in this. He's going to bring this back to us eventually, once he's loaded that up. And then we're going to get to make a sail. Oh, hang on, hang on. He's scavenging some other stuff. What else is he getting? Is there something else on this boat? He's, oh, he, he really is taking the boat apart. Right, okay, <laughs> he's not left much. Um, right, that's complete. Uh, that was all the scrap metal, was it? Okay, however, this guy is now a bit hungry and a bit thirsty, uh, which is fair enough because he's been out here for a little while. Right, he's coming back home. He's coming back home, everybody. Um, okay, where's he gone? Dude, oh, there you are. <laughs> he sort of disappeared. Right, so we've not got much in the way of anything now. We've not, well, in terms of, in terms of wet wood, we are very severely lacking. How storage in here? Oh, there's loads of storage in the town hall, though. Um, okay, right. We need to get somebody to come here and grab lots of wood. Because we're going to run out of water soon if we don't sort this out. So, yes, that could be useful. He is loading things up. He's chucking stuff into the storage areas. Okay, this is very encouraging. Right. Marvellous. So, I think our next thing is to build a sail. I think that is our next obvious goal. So build a sail. Um, where? Where do we want to build the sail? Uh, there? No, that's that's kind of production-based stuff. Maybe here. Maybe opposite the houses. So they can come out of the house and then start, you know, steering the boat or whatever. Um, I think that'll do. Let's put it there for now. I mean, who knows? <laughs> Again, this might be terrible. It might be an inspired decision. At the moment, I don't know. And it's done. 
we have a sale. Okay, this is very exciting. Now, the only thing is, how do I then go to the next bit? In the map? Ah, yeah, I think if I can click here, yes, I can move here because travel requires a sail. And I now have a sail, which means I can make our way over to the Lonely Island. Right, there's nothing else around here that I particularly need to sort of work on, is there? I mean, I could go and gather a gazillion resources. There's some fish over there. We could build another little mooring point thing and build ourselves a fishing boat or what have you. What I might do is let's let them deplete all the wet wood from in there. So we'll move Tom on a bit quick. They can go and grab all of the wood from in there because they're using that to make the firewood, which we're then using to uh, to get the water done. Yeah, we, we need to make this a little bit more efficient. It would be great if we could make this a tiny bit more efficient because it uses a lot of fuel to make not that much water. Although we have just gone up to 10. Oh, it's back down to 9. It's going to come down a little bit more, isn't it? Because they're drinking the water. Um, okay, so yeah, it'd be good if we could get something to make this a little bit more effective with fuel although maybe maybe when we get different types of fuel we could use that and it'll make it more efficient but yeah okay fine so let's let them grab all of the resources from here there's not that much wet wood left so we'll grab the stuff from here because we might as well because they've sort of been tasked to do it and when we've done that we shall set sail and we shall drift our way over on the wind to the lonely island Okay, so they've collected all the wood from over there, which is lovely. And we've set the woodworking shed to make a little bit more firewood because the distiller had ran out of firewood to burn in order to, you know, do the distilling and all that kind of stuff. So the water is, yeah, it's sort of coming down to about seven or eight. We might top it up to maybe eight or nine. I kind of think we need to keep on top of that. That's very important. Of course, food as well is something we need to do. And one thing that I did not look at because I think we got distracted by uh, building the sails was the little house that we built because we told them to construct a small house and it's just here and it might be one of the most adorable things I've ever seen in a video game. <laughs> it is brilliant. So it's not really a house, it's just a bed. It's just a lovely little wooden bed on a platform floating about attached to this sort of walkway just here. So there's the bed, they've got this, you know, they've got the bed frame and the bed head and you've got a little bedside table, a tiny alarm clock. Now I can't zoom in anymore which is a shame. I mean, it looks like there might be some stuff under the bed, possibly. I'm not entirely sure. There's something at the back. Oh, no, that's a barrel holding it up. That's fine. Um, there's a sort of a pillow to put your head on. I can't quite work out what that is, and I can't zoom in any more. But there's something on the bed, like a cuddly toy or something. I should... I know what that is. I know what that is. This is a bed, and that is some pyjamas in the shape of a llama. And this game is developed by the, a company called Pyjama Llama. Uh, so that is, <laughs> that is some llama pyjamas, which have been put in the game by Pyjama Llama. That, that's brilliant. Oh, I like that. That's a nice little sort of reference there. I'm assuming that's what it is. It looks like it to me. It looks like it to me. Yeah, that's a kind of little llama shaped thing, isn't it? Possibly. I don't know. I'm, you know. I'm willing to be corrected. So I think now we leave this place. Let's leave Boatyland. Let's go from here because, yeah, this is our starting point. Let's use the power of wind to carry us to the Lonely Island. So let's move here and just see what happens. Oh, look, we move on the little map. Oh, that's lovely. Um, oh, and it's instant. Oh, that's brilliant. So here we are. So the Lonely Island is over there. It looks like there are a few little villagers that would, <laughs> would like us to rescue them. They've got exclamation points over their heads. And uh, do you know what? We will do that next time out. Because I think we've had a good look at this. We've had a good look at the game as it stands on the first little bit. I mean, yeah, that's a bit strange. The zooming in and out does sometimes go a little bit strange. But, you know, early access. We kind of come to expect these things. It's not finished and all that kind of stuff. But I think we've got a good look at the, the very sort of basics of the game. Of how it's going to work. You know, the very basic resource gathering. And how you have to, you know, get water and what have you. That is a little bit low. I don't like how water reserves being so low. But, yeah, I think we've got a good look at how it works on a very basic level next time when we come back we will go and rescue some people that will be very very useful indeed being able to rescue those people is going to be quite handy because three people working all this they're quite busy they've got an awful lot to do if we could get ourselves some more people 
couple more pairs of hands on board would be very useful. Somebody going to do some fishing, lots of people gathering wood and all that kind of stuff. So we'll see how we get on next time, but we'll finish up for now. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. I have thoroughly enjoyed this. This has been brilliant. I've had a lovely time with it and I'm looking forward to playing it some more. Hopefully you've enjoyed it too. If you have, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in Flotsam. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well and they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>